I very much like Mr. Gray. He was a no-nonsense businessman and a snazzy dresser. He always wore the most in style, fashionable suits. I have been their neighbor for almost ten years. I never had any problems with Mr. Gray. And his daughter is quite a looker. Before she left for college, I had to keep reminding myself that she was far too young for me. Ha <laughs> ha. After dessert, Mr. Gray grabbed his stomach, quickly blurted out excuse me, and ran off toward the bathroom. I figured maybe the tapioca had given him the runs or something. Indigo went to check on him after a while, and then Mrs. Gray went trailing along on Indigo's heels. I went into the kitchen a few times during dinner. I wanted to see if Azura needed any help in there. And she was working so hard all evening that she wouldn't have even had time to think about killing anybody, much less do it. Mrs. Gray, that stupid old cow, was too busy fawning over Indigo to even notice that her husband looked ill. I was paying attention to Indigo's mustache at the time, wondering if he goes somewhere to get it professionally curled. That's why I noticed that Indigo looked like he was genuinely concerned about Mr. Gray when he got up to check on him. Miss Pearl left the table right before dessert, and she smelled like smoke when she came back. Esmeralda is a bit of a train wreck tonight. She's dealing with personal problems. She was at the table the whole night, sitting in one spot, drinking wine, 